Now to another court. The main trial in the Sendomiwa murder case has adjourned until Monday. It was delayed for five months for a trial within a trial into the admissibility of confessions for accused number one and two. Those confessions have been laid bare after the court ruled yesterday that the statements can be admitted as evidence. Our reporter Manwa Bamkunu is following the story for us and he joins us now live from outside uh, the court. And uh, we know Manwaba that uh, uh, the court actually adjourned until Monday. But talk to us about um, the officer that wrote the statement of accused number two down, Bongan Indanzi. What did he say? Money that was given? Senzo was definitely the, the target, etc. Well, certainly, Matsehu, I think the court getting a sense of the granular details around that contractual assassination that uh, the state alleges was the result of Senzo Meiwa being killed in October 2014. So we got to hear two affidavits or statements uh, that have been deposed or made by accused one and two. Those are the confessions that uh, were uh, the, uh, contentious uh, in this trial within a trial that uh, had concluded yesterday. So essentially, the court contents of those two confessions being read into the court and uh, from what we were able to hear of course is uh, uh, details around how exactly uh, Senzo Meiwa was killed we understand that uh, from both confessions uh, Kelly Kumalo's name has come up as being the one who ordered that particular hit but as far as accused number two is concerned he detailed how he got to hear or got to be involved in this particular uh, murder saying that he had been uh, informed and telephoned in October of 2014 by accused number four uh, who informed him of an urgent job that needed to be done and he then revealed to him that uh, this job was uh, to uh, eliminate Senzo Meiwa and uh, he says that uh, Kelly Kumalo was the one who had ordered and essentially paid for that particular hit. He then uh, gave details as to how exactly that all unraveled on the day of the shooting saying that it was in fact him and accused number three, Toby Simuwe, that had went inside the house. He 